when you think about how Jews read texts, um, there, there are actually in our book two different lenses that we're using along with a, a more general Christian lens, whether Protestant or Catholic or Orthodox. There's what the text meant in its own historical context. Um, but what Deuteronomy meant a thousand years before Jesus or thereabouts or 500 years is going to be different than what it means to the Jewish tradition in the year 300 after Jesus or the Jewish tradition today. So what we're trying to do in this volume is give the historical model, what did this text mean as best as we can reconstruct it in its original context? When Isaiah spoke, what were people hearing? And then how does the New Testament pick up some of these quotations and what did they do with them? How were the early followers of Jesus hearing those texts? And then how is the Jewish tradition over time variously hearing those texts? So we've got the historical, we've got the Jewish, we've got the Christian. So the text is not just a dialogue, it's in fact a trialogue. I like that. And that's one of the, the key messages I got from, from your book is that, like, what a beautiful way to read the Bible by understanding that there is a dialogue happening. And the Bible is, is trying to engage us with the dialogue. And it's okay to have different perspectives and different meaning coming from the text. Like, like I think about, like, uh, when I come to the Bible, I'm coming with all of my biases, my own religious tradition, my own culture, and especially like growing up in Orange County, California in the 1990s with specific types of churches. Like I have all these like lenses on top of lenses. And as I've transitioned from church to church, each of those different denominations have provided a new lens, a new ray reading the Bible. And so now when I come to the scripture, sometimes I can be very uh, just perplexed like, how should I even be looking at this? Because I remember my first church said this, my other churches said this and this, and then that's further complicated by, well, that's just Protestant tradition. I'm not even considering the Roman Catholic tradition or the Jewish tradition on how these texts are read. And so that's, um, I guess my first question to you both is, uh, for those of us who maybe feel kind of um, stuck when it comes to how should I even approach an objective reading of scripture when I have so many lenses and biases that are kind of in the background, how do I kind of deal with that? And how can I kind of look at the Bible in a, in a more clear, objective way? Well, before you use the word perplexed, I don't think it's so bad to be perplexed. I mean, there's good perplexed and there's bad perplexed. I hope this book can help you and others be good perplexed. I think the most important thing to do, and this goes back to AJ's answer to your previous question, is just be aware of the fact that the Bible can be read using many different lenses. It's really, it just from my perspective, and I think AJ from our perspective, it's just really important to be aware of what lens you are reading it through. And that way even... Uh, going back to your initial comments, you talked about another way to look at the Bible. I think what we're really trying to say is, you know, there is not a single way, but there are many different ways. And we're trying also to do it in a non polemical fashion. I think very often when different communities talk about the Bible, it was like the uh, presidential debate of last night. <laughs> where we take it up. <laughs> where, 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 where everything is a zero-sum game. It is either me or you. And quite truthfully, uh, throughout history, many of those discussions about what the Bible meant uh, were almost as ugly as what happened that way in terms of how vituperative and crude and crass some of that polemic became. And what we're trying to say is that there is a text. Perhaps we're not even sure there is a text because very often we don't know exactly what the biblical text is. I know you had an earlier podcast with Professor John Barton. I'm sure that issue came up. So, you know, one of the issues even that sometimes divides the communities is, you know, what is the text that we are talking about? And how is it that different religious communities have different texts for the Bible? And, you know, we recognize that. And it's not super important for us to say, oh, which text is right, which text is earliest, but rather to understand both the diversity of the text that you have and the diversity of interpretations that you have. And sure, 
if you really just look at that diversity, it's very perplexing. So one of the things that we try hard to do in the book is to explain why those diversity, why that diversity exists by being very self-conscious about different lenses that could be used to back the text. Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video clip from the Dogato podcast. To get more videos like this, simply subscribe here on YouTube. You can also download the full episode of each show on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, or your favorite podcast player. Take care.